welcome one in the comments if you are a headache sufferer. If you don't want to admit it, that's okay. Just say hello and tell me where you're from. It's so great to have you all here today. We are talking headaches. We're talking detox. We're talking weight loss, leptin resistance. I've got some surprises happening for this week's show as well. So I hope you've been on your toes. I hope you've been watching my content because there will be a little bit of a test today. We also have our quiz questions throughout the show. Three quiz questions happening in this show. We're going to the beauty section and we're gonna be face taping. So I don't know how many of you have been doing that and have been loving that content that I share. So we've got some tips for that face taping. So all natural, that's what we do here at the Dr. Janine Show. So happy to have you here. I'll put the hammer down now, but we will be talking tips for headaches. So this is gonna be great. And some easy, easy detox tips, things that you can you know, get the bowels moving, things that you can start to implement into your daily life. And let's first talk about some of the most common causes of headaches, because I know for a lot of people, if you don't know why you're getting the headaches, then how would you know how to effectively treat them? And in my headaches, or whenever you get a headache, is not getting at the root cause. And of course, myself being a naturopathic doctor, we always want to get at the root cause as to why we suffer and we have symptoms. And the symptoms of headaches can be caused by a variety of different things. So if you treat, the, treat those root cause issues, then you're gonna feel so much better and best thing, you won't get those headaches. Okay, so let's talk first. Now we will be going to the beauty set in just a second and I'm gonna be showing you how I do my face taping, which you're gonna love. But let's talk about some of the causes, the most common causes of getting those headaches. So let's go over here. Number one, dehydration. So simply not drinking enough fluids, good quality water every day can cause headaches. Hello, hello, I wanna say hi to Flying Farmhouse in North Carolina, nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. And Lee for free, yes, the dehydration is a huge, huge problem. Jason, thank you for the follow. Thank you for everybody who is new here today. And Zab, thank you for following as well. So many new followers. Thank you for sharing today's live as well, guys. I I love the fact that we have so many new people here every week. We do this every Tuesday at this time slot. So please make sure you tune in in the future as well. And Lisa Lee Hunt, yes, dehydration. It is so, so common if you're not drinking enough. So next time, if I mean, I hope you don't get headaches. But the next time you get a headache, just have a huge glass of water and see what happens. This is why I always start my day with a big glass of water right by my bedside. So I prepare the night before. Big glass of water to hydrate my brain and the rest of my entire system first thing in the morning. So, and again, I used to be a headache sufferer. So these are all the things that I've used personally as well. And of course, with my patients over the years to really help with the headaches. Okay, let's talk about number two, electrolyte deficiency. So magnesium is a big one. If you have a magnesium deficiency, and this is so, so common because of why? All of our devices, all of those non-native EMFs that we're getting, so man-made electromagnetic fields and forces in our environment from our cell phones, from our tablets, from our television screens, from our Wi-Fi, all of that is going to cause a loss of magnesium relative to what's happening with your calcium through your VGCCs. That's something I talk about in another post. We won't go into all the science of that right now. Really important that you're balancing your electrolytes. So this is why I take magnesium every single day, every morning. And this is important to maintain magnesium and of course our sodium levels as well. So having enough sodium, it's something that you can add into your diet if you're you know, not having enough sodium. This is a big problem, when, especially with headaches, okay? And this is especially true if you're post-fire a lot. So if you live in a hot environment or you're exercising, you've gotta balance those electrolytes. Okay, number three, another cause of headaches constipation so i've got my famous poop tray if you're new here for the first time this is the first time you're seeing my famous poop tray this is what made me famous on tiktok the very first time and this is it so the kids helped me to make this but yeah if you're not having healthy bowel movements every day that is a cause for constipation because those toxins are sitting in your body and you're not pooping them out so if this is you in terms of your poops having those little rabbit pellets or what i call them meatball poops that is severe constipation. You gotta get those bowels moving to help with those headaches. As well as, okay, number four on my list, another cause of headaches, like I was saying, those man-made EMFs. So your cell phone, your Wi-Fi, all of that 5G, all that electromagnetism in your world 
you've got to offset that somehow, and I'm going to share some tips on how to do that, okay? And number five, another cause of headache is blue light. So that blue light toxicity in your eyes, I'm going to show you my new pair of blue light blocking glasses in a few minutes. They're pretty funky, but that's really important. It doesn't matter what type of that you buy, that you wear, as long as you're blocking that blue light is going to be really important for your headaches. Okay, so let's talk about some tips now to get rid of the headaches. I'm sure you can guess what a lot of those tips are gonna be. Please screenshot this really quickly to make sure that you got this for causes of headaches. And I think we got it. Okay, good. Now we're gonna talk about my tips to help to get rid of those headaches. So tip number one, of course, is going to be drinking more water. Yes, I'm waiting for somebody to give it to me and that, yeah. Drinking more water, of course. So this is something that we talked about. So that dehydration is a big problem when we're talking about headaches. Okay, number two, like I said, I take my magnesium. And this is, and of course, there's so many different types of magnesium. The type that I take is magnesium bisglycinate. Do you want me to write it for you? Yes, I think, I'll, let me just write it. Can I squeeze it in here, guys? I think I can. It's B I S. G-L-Y-C-I-N-A-T-E. This is my preferred type of magnesium. Why? Because it has great absorption, even at higher dosages, which some days, if I'm really on technology a lot, I'm taking more magnesium to offset all of that calcium flooding into my cells. This one does not cause you to have diarrhea, even at higher dosages. And it's really easy on the stomach. It's very neutralizing to you know, any stress and anxiety. This is my preferred type. Just make sure if you are taking magnesium bisglycinate, it doesn't have any fillers or flow agents, especially no magnesium stearate. So that's really important, okay? Number three, increase your fiber. So depending on where you live, I spelled it the French Canadian way, but I know some people spell it with F-I-B-E-R, but that's important to get those bowel movements going. Remember, where's my poop? Not my poop, where's, I need my poop. I need it, one second, I'm getting my poop. Here it is, somebody is hiding my poop on me. Okay, the, the poop tray, if you're just tuning in. Yes, yeah, so if you do have this type of poop, remember, you've gotta eat more fiber. So get more fiber in your diet. One of the things you can do is you can take something like psyllium seed husks, of course, I want you to have a healthy diet, but psyllium seed husks is something that I take in an ultra-fine powder in a capsule that can help to make sure that I'm getting enough fiber every day. Okay, so fiber is important. Number four is grounding. So remember when we're talking about having all of those EMFs in our environment, grounding means basically taking your shoes off and going outside on the earth, on the ground. And ideally it's grass or sand. The best way to ground is to walk down the beach and to have that electromagnetism coming from the ocean water, or it could be in fresh water as well, walking on the beach because you have that connectivity through the bottom of your feet to connect with that electromagnetism, which is really important to help to ground you, brings electrons into your body, very healing, and that's really important for headaches. And number five is turn off those blue lights. And that basically means all of the lights in your home, especially the more energy efficient ones, are higher in the blue light spectrum. This is really damaging to your health. The other thing you can do, of course, is wear your blue light blocking glasses at night. So that's really important. These are my new funky ones, the yellow ones, which I love during the day. I have more red ones at nighttime. You gotta block that blue light. Do your best to turn off as many lights in your environment after the sun has set. That's really gonna help your headaches. It is a game changer. Okay, so I want you to please screenshot that really quickly. We're going to the beauty set in just a second. We're gonna do some face taping for beauty. Please say hello, everyone. If you're here for the first time, please. Put a one in the comments. Thank you for sharing today's live. So many new people here. And thank you for following. Oh my goodness, Luna, thank you for the follow. Love to see you here. This is awesome. Okay, you only have woods. You can ground, Caroline, you can ground in the woods as well. Just take off your shoes. And you can ground in the woods. That is amazing. User Mo Moo, seven. nice to see you. Thank you for the follow. And okay, some, can everybody hear me? I hope everybody can hear me. I guess there's, we're fixing it. Okay, good. All right, so. Let's talk about face taping. This is one of the things that I love to do because it's all natural. You don't need any kind of, you know, go for any type of service here. You do this at home. So basically you purchase the kinesiology tape. 
You can get this at the pharmacy or the drugstore. You can also purchase it online. Super, super easy, and it's stretchy. So what you're gonna do is you're cut, gonna cut little strips of the kin tape, and athletes use this. They, it's not made for face taping, it's made for athletes. And you see them, you know, volleyball players and things, and, and they, they tape different joints and things. And maybe you've had your physio has done this for you, but I like to use it for face taping. And it has a little adhesive backing, so you're gonna peel that off, and I like to do this at bedtime on clean, skin okay so if you want to put your serums and things you certainly can but you have to realize that it's not going to be quite as sticky as what you may need it to be depending on you know what and how deep your wrinkles are on your face so I might just use like a light moisturizer or light serum that isn't um, too emollient on the skin and then I'm applying the tape so you can see that the tape has a bit of stretch and towards the end of the show, I can come back if you want more details on how to cut the tape and I'll show you the very specifics. But all you're gonna do if you do have forehead wrinkles is to basically spread out the wrinkle so that it, you're eliminating that valley and you apply the tape and then you sleep with this on at nighttime. Now, another one that I get a lot of questions about are the nasolabial folds, so that is here. So all you do again is you peel off the back of your tape. Can everybody see that? And then again, you are sort of going like this to spread out that valley where you may have the wrinkle in the nasolabial fold and apply the tape in that area. And of course you would do this. Okay, I'm gonna do it on both sides just to show you. No laughing because I'm doing this for your benefit. I know I look like a crazy person, but it's all good, okay. And then the other side, you're gonna spread, it's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. Apply the tape down, press it down, and then you leave it on like that. Okay, how many people do face taping? Thank you, Myra, for following. This is all for your benefit, I love doing this. Andrea, thank you for the follow, nice to see you all. Thank you for tuning in today. What is the name of the tape? It's Kinesiology Tape. We will put that in the comments, please. Kinesiology Tape. User 2206, thank you. Jerry, you do the face taping, awesome, awesome. MRK, thank you for the follow, nice to see you. Uh, Leanna, puffiness under the eyes, I ha have some posts on that. Maybe it's something we will focus in on. Let's do that, guys, in the next couple of shows. Let's talk about what to do about puffiness under the eyes, thank you. And hello from India, Simran, thank you for tuning in. I know that you've got some great comments there. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. We're going to be talking about easy detox tips in just a moment. Am I allowed to take this off my face or should I leave it on for our first quiz question? Yeah, I think I'll leave it on. Oh, oh no, take it off, okay, I'm taking it off, I'm taking it off, we're going, okay, we are gonna go to quiz question number one. And basically, maybe I should share this, in the morning, you gently peel it off and you'll be amazed because the skin is lifted because you've had the tape there and it really has, over time, the more that you do this, it actually is kind of like a natural Botox because you now have more control of those muscles. You're not in the night, you know, making facial expressions, which we do. So everything is nice and relaxed in the morning. And the more that you do this over time, you're gonna love the effect. So please try the face taping, it is amazing. I think we put it in the comments, it's called kinesiology tape. Yes, we got it, thank you guys. Okay, so let's talk about our quiz. So every show, I'm gonna take this off guys, cause it's hard for me to talk, there we go. Every show we have quiz questions. So this week we're playing for the immune support and this is from our great sponsors at Vita Tree. We thank them for making this show possible in the first place. You're playing for this guys, so all you have to do is attempt to answer the questions. You don't even need to answer things correctly, just do your best and here we go, are we ready? Here we go. What mineral is especially helpful for headaches? You've got 30 seconds. Let's go, get your answers in the comments. Oh my goodness, everybody's ahead of me here. Let's go, let's go. Awesome, awesome. What mineral is especially helpful for headaches? Everybody get your answers in. We talked about this. Dr. Brandy, nice to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Is everybody getting their answers in? Wow, I see some specific answers as well. Good job on YouTube, I see that. Okay, time's up. Everybody got their answer in. 
the mineral that I especially love is magnesium. And remember, I saw some people, Carla on YouTube said specifically magnesium bisglycinate. Love that. Congratulations. Okay, you have two more opportunities to answer quiz questions. And I have another little surprise in today's show, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be fun. I hope that you've been paying attention. Let me just say that. Okay, so I want to congratulate last week's winner. It was Mama Rita, and you were the winner of the Vita Tree Season Support. So congratulations to you. Fantastic job. And everybody, we continue to you know participate in the quiz questions. And thank you for taking your time today to participate in the show. It's amazing that you're all here. We also last week had a bonus winner, and I want to congratulate Raina Gomes. Congratulations! We had a bonus question, and you were the winner of the Dr. J9 mug. So congratulations, Raina. Fantastic that you were able to participate. And again, remember we have a couple more questions coming up that you may be our lucky winner for this week's show. Okay, so now let's talk about some tips for acne. And this is, I get so many questions from, you know, women and men in all different age groups about acne and why it's so important, again, from a natural perspective to deal with acne because a lot of the conventional treatments for acne are, in my opinion, of course, very toxic and can be really hard on your liver and you can't go out in the sun, which we know the sun is like the best thing for your, for your skin and your entire body. So this is a problem. So I always like to give and share natural tips for anything that you know we can address from a natural perspective. Now we will be coming and talking about weight loss, so don't go anywhere, but we're gonna be talking about weight loss and leptin resistance and that, that little, test is going to be coming up, so stay tuned for that. But let's talk about some tips for acne. And when we look at the diagram of the face, this is something that I published in my second book that I wrote. I'm working on my third one now, and I'm very excited about that, so that will be coming soon. But this is how all of our internal organs are mapped in terms of toxicity. And when we break out on certain parts of the face, that can be an indication as to that internal organ being a little bit more toxic. So for instance, if you break out here, the stomach region, often people get the rosacea here on the cheeks, that's related to the stomach, as well as the lungs can be in this area with the nasal labial folds. When we look at the lower chin area, the large intestine and the reproductive organs, if your bowel is toxic, your bowel is mapped in this area and on the chin. So if you break out here all the time, that can be an indication that you're not pooping enough and you've got that bowel toxicity, as well as other toxins that have built up on the, on the nose, related to the heart. Your digestive tract is up here as well. So if you're breaking out here, toxins in the digestive tract, you have the liver, of course, in the eye region and under the eyes, the kidneys. So this is something that, again, your body is always giving you signs and signals as to what's going on internally. And that's why one of my tips, so let's go to some of my tips now for acne. My tip number one is to include more fiber in the diet. We've got to get that poop going. So again, the famous poop tray. This, again, would be a gold standard poop. So this is a good poop, an S-shaped dark sinker, something that I, I share and talk a lot about on TV, about having healthy poops. If you've seen me there, if you're in Canada, maybe you've seen me there talking about that. This is equally as good as a poop, something like this, not so good. And of course, if you've got severe constipation and you're getting acne because of that and your poop looks like this, everything is connected in the body and that's why I like to share this information. So if this, please put some poop emojis. I love to call for the poop emojis. When I'm on TV, I can't call for poop emojis, but here I can, so please put some poop emojis. <laughs> Who's gonna be the first to get a poop in there? I'm waiting, I'm waiting, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, Mally, got it. I saw you first with the poop. Jessica, good job. And still waiting for Instagram. Uh, everybody's shy on Instagram. Instagrammers are shy about poop. Come on. There we go. Fritz Fun, thank you for getting the poop emojis in there. Continue to put the poops. Oh, MRK has like multiple poops in there as well as Frankie and Carly. Thank you for that. And it makes it so much more fun for me. Okay, so you got to poop. If you've got acne, you got to get pooping and get that going well. Okay, number two is to decrease your sugar. Yes, unfortunately, sugar causes a whole host of problems, especially for acne. As much as they will try to tell you that your diet has nothing to do with acne, it does. So get that sugar out of your diet. Number three, more sunlight. You got to get natural sunrise rays on your skin, especially midday. So when your UV is the highest, 
the UV light kills bad bacteria. Why do they use UV lights to kill bacteria and fungus and all these things that you can actually purchase UV lights to do that? It does that for the skin too. So get outside, your skin will clear up immediately with some natural sunlight exposure. Of course, with nothing on your skin, I'm talking no makeup, no sunscreen, a little bit of natural sun exposure, building up your tolerance is something that I talk about in other videos. Make sure you get that sun on your skin. It's gonna clear up your skin with your acne. Okay, number four, doing internal cleansing, super, super important. So pa parasite and candida cleansing, I'm a big proponent of doing that. One of these nasty things that can be on your skin and causing that acne is a mite. So it's like a parasite. It's called the Demodex mite. And let's show it to you. That's what it looks like. So of course, this is a gross enlargement and I've got, everybody's getting the EBGBs behind the, behind the scenes, but that can be on your skin and causing a lot of problems. So we want to clear that up. And that's why by doing parasite and candida cleansing with herbal medicines, which I talk about a lot, and I love, we can do, you know, if you have specific questions about that, what I use, we'll do that in the Q&A towards the end of the show, okay? So the Demodex might, we gotta get rid of that. And number five, you can make a spot treatment. So this is something that I've shared in other videos. Basically, you're getting calamine lotion, and you're mixing it with tea tree oil, and that combination, you mix it together, and we do, do we have that recipe? We're gonna show that recipe in just a second. Here we go. So you've got one teaspoon of the calamine lotion, which you just purchased, it is natural. You purchase that at the store, at the pharmacy, and two drops of your tea tree oil. And you're going to put that onto, you, you combine those in a glass jar, use a cotton swab and just dab that on the areas where you need to fix that acne. It's a spot treatment. It is a little bit pink and it's very drying. So you're going to put that on at close to bedtime and of course, wash it off in the morning. And you'll be amazed what this does for those acne spots. You're going to love it. Okay. So I hope, did everybody get that? We can come back to it. If you want to screenshot the recipe, we'll come back to it at the end. Just remind me. Okay. Are we ready for some easy detox tips? This is something that I love of course, to educate people about detoxing, so, so important. We still are in springtime now. The best time of year to detox is right now. So let's look at the tips. I have my weight loss tips coming up as well. We're gonna be talking about leptin resistance, so we don't go anywhere for that. But let's talk about easy detox tips. So tip number one, eliminate the toxic foods and the toxins that you have in your home. This is really important. It's something that, you know, doing your best day by day to just clean up your environment, both with your foods, but also your environmental toxins is gonna to be really helpful. Okay, number two, eat more greens. So just get more greens, especially the leafy greens into your diet, really great for detoxifying your liver, but for your kidney health as well. And this is so important when we look at the liver, our biggest internal detox organ. Of course, the skin is our biggest external detox organ, but the liver, really important that we're cleaning up those toxins in the liver, eat more greens. The more bitter, the better for your liver. Okay, number three, you wanna poop more. Yes, we've talked about that ad nauseum. I saw, I don't know how many million poops on here, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, love pooping, really important. So we should have, be having at least two bowel movements a day. And for the guys, I usually say three bowel movements a day, okay? Because guys tend to eat a, whoops, a little bit more than we do. Okay, number four, drink more water. Again, I told you these are easy detox tips. Drink more water, okay? Number five, do the ileocecal valve massage. So this is something that you can look up in my content. Just look up my name. Look for the ileocecal valve massage. You're going to screenshot this so you can look this up later. But basically, it's a specific spot on your lower abdomen that you're going to massage. I show you that technique. Great for detox. Great for getting those poops going as well. Okay? So you're going to do that. Number six, we have castor oil packs. So let's go over to Lucy really quickly. And castor oil packs, basically, you buy a high-quality castor oil, hexane-free. This is available in most health food stores online as well. You're going to get some cotton flannel or wool flannel. You're going to saturate that pad and put it on your abdomen. Usually, I like to put it a little bit on the right-hand side because that's where your liver is. So everybody at home, feel for your liver. So go to your rib cage on your right-hand side and everybody feel. So under there, you shouldn't be able to feel your liver, but it's protected under your right hand ribs and it's right under there. So that if you think about your right rib cage, that's where you wanna put your castor oil pack and you put that on for at least 45 minutes with a hot water bottle to help to penetrate that castor oil 
really helps with your immune function, with your detox. It's amazing. It's a game changer for your overall health. So do that castor oil pack for that detox. And number seven on the list is herbal medicine. So there are specific ones that I love for detox. It's something that I've talked about in other shows. And again, we'll maybe save that for the Q&A at the end if you want to know what those specific herbal medicines are. And number eight, we've got Mother Nature's prescription. You can't go anywhere or do anything in life, in my opinion, without doing this. This is so important. So getting grounded, getting natural sunlight, going out into nature, doing deep breathing is so important in the fresh air. You got to move. You got to move your body. Really important to stay healthy and to detox as well. Okay, it is quiz time, guys. Woohoo! Who's with me here? Yes, AMDG0914 Edgar Casey Protocol. Absolutely. Please screenshot this really quickly so that you've got this and then we can certainly come back to it. Are we ready? Thank you for the follows, guys. I see so many. Genith, Taurus, Meowser. Thank you. Thank you for sharing today's live as well. Trish222, thank you for tuning in. So great to have you all here. This is awesome. I'm having so much fun. I hope you are as well. If you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Janine and we do this show. So this is the Dr. Janine show. We do this every Tuesday at this time slot. Please tell your friends, please come on back. In a couple of weeks, I'll be back. Next week I'm on hiatus, but in, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. So yeah, and we'll share those details towards the end of the show. Okay, we're at quiz question number two. Remember we're pay playing for a prize. We're playing for the immune support from our great sponsors at VitaTree Whole Food Supplements. So we thank them for allowing me to talk and be here every week to bring you this show okay so we have to thank them yes okay so are we ready quiz question number two here we go this is so easy we just talked about this UV sunlight is good for acne you've got 30 seconds let's go true or false UV sunlight is good for acne let's go all right everybody's getting their answers in Karen Ann, thank you. Thank you for the comment. <laughs> All right, this is awesome. Good job. Just grab my water. Everybody get your answers in. Okay, 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Everybody getting their answers in. All right, thank you so much. Everybody got it. Everybody got their answers. I think, I don't think, see any wrong answers. The answer is? True, yes, UV sunlight, great for acne, great for your skin in general. So much misinformation about the sunlight, okay? So we need the sun, absolutely, every single day. I want to congratulate our viewer spotlight. So every week and every show, we feature someone who has been really positive in terms of their comments, and it could be on any of you know the social media platforms where you could find me. And this is from C1812 who said, love your content, love your energy. Thank you for sharing. So thank you so much, C1812. It was so great that you shared your positive feedback. And all of you that are here today, which is so amazing. I'm always amazed at all the new people that I'm seeing. So thank you, thank you for tuning in every week. And you know, maybe you're here for the first time. Welcome in. Uh, like I said, we do this every week and I love to have all of you here so that you're learning and we're learning together and actually we're building a community of like-minded, healthy and happy people, which is my goal so that we all are here for one another. And I'm, I know that I'm sharing the information for you, but you with your positive energy sharing back to me is fantastic as well. And that's why we like to feature our viewer spotlight. So please continue to put your great information, of course, and your great feedback into all of the social media platforms wherever you're watching watching today. It's so great to connect with you and thank you. I, I, I'm so blessed to have you all here. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now this is the little bit of the surprise for today's episode. I've got a little bit of a test for all of you. Okay. So I'm going to see who's been paying attention over time because I know a lot of you have been here for a couple years now watching me and watching the show. We're going to have a little bit of a test on one of my favorite subjects on the planet, which is leptin resistance. And if you don't know what that is, this is so important that you are learning what this is. And most importantly, if you're trying to lose weight, if your hormones are out of whack, if you've got inflammatory disorders, if you're suffering with autoimmune disorders, you've got gut issues, you gotta fix your leptin resistance, okay? So let's go through this. This is a fill in the blanks, and you're gonna give me the answers. And guess what? This is something when I do homework with the kids, it's like, oh, did the teacher give like the, the 
the possible answers in a list? No, we don't have that in this one. And it's so much easier when we have the question with the answers, the possible answers. You don't have that. So you're going to give me the answers. I'll help you out if you're not sure. But let's go through this. Are we ready? Drew, thank you for sharing. Are we ready for this? All right, Wafa, thank you. This is awesome. Okay, let's go. Leptin is a blank released from our blank. Okay, what is our first blank? I'm waiting for you. Let's go. Aha, uh -huh. Jerry was quick. Jerry has been here for a couple of years. I know that. Awesome. Melissa as well. Good job. Good job. Yes, who else had? I'm going to answer. Wait for a few more answers. Thank you. Anita, good job. Megan, Katrina, Katie, good try. Carly, yes, Nafisa, good job, everyone. Wow, I'm actually very impressed. This is good. Yeah, Carla, good job. Susan, Alma, Jessica, good job, everyone. Okay, so leptin is a hormone. Yes, a hormone. Good job, everyone. Okay, what is next? Released from our, okay, next answer. Let's go, let's go. Released from our, Drew, it's okay if you don't know. It's all right, it's all right. Oh, oh, who had that? What's that? Facebook had, had the right answer. I don't see it, it's already gone. Oh, wow, 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 good job. Yes, a lot of people make, duh, make a lot of that, that confusion, leptin and lectin. This is, we're talking leptin, leptin, is hello Caroline in Cypress, Texas. Nice to see you. Is given off by our okay. I think we did have adipose, so somebody did say adipose. So it is adipose, our fat cells. So okay, we're all on the same page. Instagram had it. Okay, awesome. Next one, it tells the blank if we should eat more or not. It tells the, aha, Lizzie, I see some answers here that are coming in, pink rocks, wow. It tells the, good job everyone. Yeah, Carla Vegas, yeah, adipose tissue, you were right on the previous one. It tells, yes, everyone, I see it's all coming in. Pip, yes, Febby, Dave, Sandra, Drew, Queen, Love it, it tells the brain. Does anybody know which part of the brain? <laughs> That's level two or level three. <laughs> now I'm just getting picky, I'm told. <laughs> the hypothalamus, okay. Okay, we won't go there though. Okay, leptin, blank, means the brain is no longer getting the right signals from leptin, which can lead to blank gain. Okay, so leptin, what are we talking about? I don't want to give you, okay, MRK had the hypothalamus. That's because I said it, MRK. No cheating, no cheating. <laughs> oh, Instagram has it already? TikTok has it? Aha, uh -huh. resistance. Good job, everyone. Resistance. I think we got it on. Everybody has it now. Leptin resistance means that the brain is no longer getting the right signals from leptin, right? Which can lead to blank gain so what do we get yes melissa everybody's got this one leads to weight gain exactly blank in the body hmm who's gonna get this one blank all right blank we need a bit more time uh-huh this one's tough recognizable by a high blank in blood work. So if you get the, the last answer, TikTok has it? Oh, oh, Trish and Melissa and yes, Peaceful E-E-A-S, Instagram Arad has it, yes, Nadia has it, yeah, okay, Caroline on YouTube, okay, all platforms have it. Inflammation and who's going to get that last one right in blood work? What is the test? Okay, so what is the test? So that inflammation in the body, oh, sorry, I, I'm trying. There we go. In the body, recognizable by a high, what's the blood test? This is like for people that, oh, White Hill. I'm impressed. Share, I am 
impre impressed Kathy, Carla Vegas. Oh my goodness, you are the best students ever. I'm telling you, this is like so satisfying and gratifying for me right now. <laughs> this is amazing. Good job. A uh, hi. Yeah, it's the highly sensitive CRP in the blood work is an indication of leptin resistance. There are other tests as well. That is fantastic. So congratulations, everybody who answered there. That was fabulous. I'm, I'm very impressed. So yay, awesome job. Okay, let's talk about some weight loss tips and fixing that leptin resistance. Okay, so one of my tips, of course, if you're trying to burn off that fat, is to, number one, stop eating after sunset. Remember, these are all tips to fix your leptin resistance. I've got a ton of content on this you can always refer back to, but you're going to screenshot this list at the end. And I'm sure you're going to have some questions for me as well. Okay, so stop eating after sunset to help with your leptin signaling. Number two, eat a big breakfast. This is really important to start your day with a big breakfast. Number three, no sunglasses. Stop wearing sunglasses. Unless you're on a super bright surface, you don't need sunglasses, it's gonna mess up your leptin signaling and will alter and not allow your body to lose that weight. Number four, eat more seafood as much as possible. Every meal if you can. I can't do it for breakfast, but usually lunch and dinner I try to eat some seafood. Really important for all the minerals that it's giving you, helps with your leptin signaling and that DHA. Number five, detox regularly. Get those toxins out of your body, super, super important. Number six, do candida and parasite cleansing. You gotta make sure that that microbiome is healthy. And a lot of us do have parasites unknowingly. This is gonna help with that leptin signaling as well. Number seven, get a tan. You wanna get as tanned as you possibly can. Really, really important. New and emerging research is coming out on melanin. Right now I did like a whole thing, learned for like, seven or eight hours of listening about melanin and POMSI and all these things and leptin resistance and doing all of that and teaching myself so that I can help to educate all of you. So get that tan. Okay, number eight, weight training. So yes, you got to maintain some muscle mass. Now, not overdoing it because that is not related to longevity. Having a bit of good muscle mass, especially as we age, is important. But being a, the big, hulky guy, not good for longevity, okay? But some weight training is important, especially for women. Number nine, no snacking, so stop snacking. You have two to three meals per day. Don't eat in between. And number 10, wear your blue light blocking glasses. Also protect your skin at nighttime. So if you do have artificial light in your environment, you want to cover up. When you go outside, you take off all the clothes and the sunglasses so that you get as much natural light on your skin and in your eyes as possible. Okay, let's go to our third question. So this is the final quiz question for today's episode. I hope everybody is, uh, did we screenshot that? Did everybody get it? Okay, we can screenshot it over here. Okay, so I want everybody to be able to screenshot this list for fixing your leptin resistance. And of course, can everybody see that? for that weight loss. Did everybody get it? Yes, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here today, please put a one in the comments. I wanna see how many people are, are new and are here for the first time. All right, we have our quiz question coming up now. Yes, C. Lewis, thank you for tuning in today. It's so great to have you here. I hope that you're a new follower and thank you to everybody who shared today's live as well. Okay, are we ready for quiz question number three? Remember, we're playing for a prize. And you don't even have to answer the quiz questions correctly. We will randomly select all of our participants. We're playing for the immune support from our great sponsors at VitaTree. Are we ready? Everybody ready? Yes, yes, yes. Pip, you're new. Harry by Lisa, Hair by Lisa. Thank you, you're new. Janelle, hello. Sh Shanna, Seema, A. Armas. Oh my goodness, so many new people. Thank you for tuning in today. Okay, and thanks for the, all the follows. And are we ready? Quiz question number three, you got 30 seconds. True or false, wearing sunglasses is good for fixing leptin resistance. Go, 30 seconds. All right. I know, everybody's quick, quick, quick. Thank you. Everybody get your answers in. Yes, yes. 
Wearing sunglasses is good for fixing leptin resistance. I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, Avika, thank you. First time, great to have you here. Yes, the answer is of course false right we don't want to wear sunglasses please stop wearing sunglasses if you want to wear them on your head for fashion i'm i'm down with that that's perfect but not for your health you don't want to have them on your eyes it's going to block that natural light okay so thank you for everybody who's tuning in Junine in australia nice to see you hello hello how is it down under? I hope that we are enjoying ourselves here. Now, if you did have questions, I know that a bunch came through in and throughout the show. Thank you for tuning in. But if you do have questions and if there's something that I can't always get to, I can't always get to all of you. And thank you if I didn't shout you out yet. I do my best. You can imagine there's like a lot of commotion happening, which is great. But if you do have specific questions, please send an email to the team at VitaTree. Hello at VitaTree.com. They are very well versed in all of my protocols and the things that I suggest in terms of herbal medicines and detox and parasite cleansing and all those things. So if you do have specific questions, please send your email there because they are ready and willing to answer your questions. But ask away if you do have some questions that I can answer here. Of course, I don't give medical advice, but at the same time, if you have a generalized question I'd love to answer it that we can help more people and I know that we went through some of the segments a little bit quickly today so if you have the questions about the detox and some of the herbal medicines I can answer that here um, as well Sandra Sue says you can't see without sunglasses your eyes will adjust trust me I used to wear them every single day and a couple of years ago when I started to learn about leptin and our hormones and sunlight exposure and our circadian rhythms and inflammation and all these things and fixing my own thyroid I stopped wearing the sunglasses and lo and behold, my thyroid got better, my headaches went away, and like all these things got better for my own health, inflammation went away, hormones balanced, um, that it's really important that you don't wear sunglasses, okay? And there's, there's more and more people are talking about it now, which I'm happy about, but still a lot of people will tell you, of course, the doctors will say don't wear the sunglasses, but that is now very controversial. Okay, so let's just, all right. Yes, the sun is very good for candida as well. Uh, when should the detox herbs be taken? Caroline, great question on YouTube. So this is something that you are doing the way that I like to do the protocol for, for you know, detoxing all of the internal organs is to take the herbal medicines twice a day. So you're going to take it in the morning and you're going to take it close to bedtime or you could do it mid-afternoon as well. So you spread out your dosages of the herbal medicines and you're doing that for a good month or two. Ideally you're doing it for two months consecutively to be able to get those toxins out of your body. And then you take a one month break and then usually it's the next season so you would detox again. And this again depends on your toxicity levels, everybody has different toxicity levels and it has different challenges with their health. So that's usually my, my protocol, how I usually um, recommend how to do it. How do you go without uh, sun? I'm guessing sun screen. Um, yeah, so building up your tolerance to the sun is really important. It's something that I've talked about in my posts. And I have actually tips how to do that so that, you know, increasing your daily exposure. We're going into summer now here where I live in Canada. So increasing our daily exposure to the sun is really important, but you have to see the early morning sunlight and that actually prepares your skin. I think we talked about this a couple weeks ago, prepares your skin and your brain signaling for the rest of your body to actually prepare your skin for the UV that comes later in the day, which of course the UVB gives you the suntan. So you've got to build up your tolerance, but you have to see and get out and into that early morning light. That's really important. Uh, if, how do you detox if you're allergic to ragweed? That's a good question. It's interesting because to be allergic to the pollen of, this is in my own opinion with my own experience because I'm, I, I'm not your doctor, but at the same time with, I am allergic, highly allergic to ragweed, to the pollen. Yet I can take the plants as part of the detox. It doesn't bother me because it's a different mechanism. So everybody's, of course, different. But to ingest the plants versus to inhale the plants and the pollens is two different things. So some people can actually get away with it. You'd have to sort of do a little experiment. And, and most people are not anaphylactic to ragweed. It's, it's annoying symptoms of a histamine response. So that is something that you can sort of investigate. Um, 
Oh, there's a movie coming first, Do No Farm. I really want to see that one. That sounds really good. So can my team please make a note of that? Yes, that will that will be very good. AMDG0914. Love the sounds of that. Thank you for sharing. That's awesome. See, I learned from you guys as well, which is amazing. Robin, you're so welcome. Thank you for tuning in today. This is so great. So if you're just tuning in now, we talked about today about headaches weight loss, we talked about leptin resistance, I did some face taping, if you want me to go back over there for a few seconds, how's my time, um, then we can, I can show you a few more techniques for the face taping, just let me know, just put it in the comments, and thank you, thank you, you, Robert hates the sun during Florida summers, oh my goodness, no, learn to love it, because it's your best friend, the sun is the most healing thing that we have, so we have to learn how to increase our ability to, you know, tolerate the sun. And the healthier you get, the more you can tolerate the sun, which is amazing. If you can't tolerate the sun, it's an indication that there's a mismatch with your circadian rhythms. And all the science that's now showing that, yeah, when you're mismatched because of our artificial lights that we have, we don't block our light at nighttime since the... Uh, invention of the light bulb, we've had a lot of health problems and this is definitely backed by the science now and what's happening with, you know, at a molecular level in terms of how the, our skin and our organs and our blood cells and our mitochondria all react to light and would actually give off light from the inside. So yeah, I've been uh, doing a lot of research lately and I love to share this information. So Okay, Jay Tipton wants to see the leptin resistance slide. So we're gonna pull up a couple of slides that you may have missed if you're just tuning in, as well as the acne tips, so that you can screenshot them. And the weight loss, I think the weight loss leptin resistance tips, I think that's what you're asking for. Okay, so we're just give us a second, we're gonna pull those up and you can screenshot if, you, if you've missed any of these. Thanks for the questions that are coming in. Where can we see the face taping technique? Melanie, it is on YouTube, so just look up on my YouTube channel. You can look up the face taping, and there is a playlist for a beauty playlist. I think it's beauty tips, um, so look that up. But we can go back over to the beauty set. I have like maybe two or three or four or five minutes, ten minutes, we'll see. Um, okay, so weight loss, leptin resistance tips. So if you want to screenshot that real quick, you've got that there. I've got a ton of content on leptin resistance in longer videos, so you can check those out as well. If you're here for the first time, Sherry, thank you. Mother's Day is on Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the lovely moms out there. I hope you all celebrate really well and enjoy your Mother's Day. So thank you for calling that out and happy Mother's Day to you as well, Sherry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Moms are so, so, so important. So we want to, of course, celebrate on Sunday. Sorry, Maddie has a question. Is fluoride bad? Yes, fluoride is bad. Please check out my videos. I did a whole series, like I think a couple years ago, we did a whole show about fluoride and why it's so bad, how it's so bad. It's really bad for your thyroid gland. For women, it's bad for breast health. Uh, it offsets your iodine. So this is really important for all of the functioning of your entire body. Even your leptin has to do with your fluoride and your iodine. So that's something that I had to make changes for myself. My tea that I drink, my black tea, I had to change because I discovered it had fluoride. <laughs> the, the popular one in a blue box that a lot of people drink. <laughs> has fluoride, um, and no wonder it used to make me feel not so great. So this is one of the things that, yeah, I'm learning and I continue to learn for my own health, but fluoride was a big thing and, and for your thyroid. Fluoride toothpaste, mm, no, not, not good in my opinion. Of course, fluoride you know, treatments at the dentist, not, no bueno, not good. Um, so these are the things, yeah, you can check out my videos and I have all of those areas where we can find fluoride in our life and how to get them out. Evelyn, you're so sweet, thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. Okay, we wanted to see the acne tips as well, right? Sorry, and okay, yes. And make sure that you like and you know continue to like all of my videos as well and share my videos. Here's the acne tips really quickly. So if you wanna screenshot that really quick, you've got that. And I hope everybody's got it. So thank you so much for everybody who tuned in today. Now our next show is gonna be on May 23rd. Remember next week is a hiatus, so I'll be back on May 23rd. But however, I want you to be looking at all of the content. So no matter what platform you're on, I promise I'll be fair because we're gonna have some quiz questions based on my content. So stuff I'm not gonna be talking about in the show next time when we're here in a couple of weeks, 
the quiz questions will be based on the content that I am posting. So all the new content that I'm posting between now and two weeks from now when our next show is on the Tuesday at 11 a.m. on the 23rd of May. So please come back. Please make sure that you have looked at the content because it'll be a little bit trickier for our quiz questions. I'll throw in some easy ones as well. One of my goals is to always teach you and to empower you over the healing of your own body, mind, and spirit. I'm so blessed to have had all of you here today. Thank you for tuning in. Love you all. Continue to share and all those great comments coming in. We'll see you next time.